Oh baby, baby How was I supposed to know? <laughs> About to shop the hollow Can we mix them all? Oh my god, you guys are so chaotic It looks like sand art <gasps> My childhood <laughs> To the 90s. It's Saturday. It's a live lunch stream. I know we're all hyped. I'm very excited. What generation are you in? When do you come from? 26% say Gen Z or younger. 63% are a millennial. Hi, that's me. I'm a millennial. It's me. 10% is Gen X and 1% is a boomer. I think the 1% is Ben. The Hollow Taco fourth anniversary collection. We're going retro. Okay, we're going bright back to my childhood. I was inspired by the late 90s, early 2000s, where there was like VHS tapes. We used to go to Blockbuster to pick up movies on a VHS tape. <laughs> yeah, I know, like, what is that? What is it? Do you know what that thing is? That black box in the far right corner? So it's all about movies and colorful packaging, jelly shoes that had sparkles in them that were squishy, or the sparkly earrings, or jelly pens that had sparkles. It's a blast from the past, and it's everything that I think of when I think of like a, a fun, up lifting childhood that I wanted to bring to life for this collection. Oh, and fun windbreakers. Okay, fit check. How do we look? You would think this is custom, but I actually got it off eBay. It's vintage. Not this, this is new. We're twins. This is the new Hollow Taco Retro on the go bag. This is the most iconic box because listen, Remix was a big ass box, okay? It was big. And some of the feedback we got was like, I love this, but it's big. So I was like, okay, what if it's the shape and size of a five slot, but it's a VHS tape? <laughs> had the VHS tape on the side that had a piece of like masking tape with like you just write like home movie 1996 packaging that was bright and colorful that had like thick color block stripes limited edition 2023 hollow taco retro collection and yes the entire collection polishes box and bag they are all limited edition as per usual for our fourth year anniversary ah! then when you open it We've never done a carton as wild as this where they were bright and had a design on it. So even if you pick up the individual cartons like this, they will come in this box. We are selling the shades individually as well. If you're like, just give me everything. Okay, and everything is $99 US. I know, like how did that work out so perfectly? <laughs> $99 or four easy payments of $19.99. Call now. Well, you can't call, no one will answer. Go to the website. Look at her. She has arrived, I know. You can fit. Hollow Taco polishes in this custom mold. It's like a foam insert. It's removable, so you can take it out. You don't need to have it in if you don't want to, but it's designed to hold the Hollow Taco bottle. Show me your nails. This looks like nothing Hollow Taco has done before, which I'm really excited about. These are jelly-based polishes, which means that they are designed to be more translucent on the first coat, and you build them up with coverage so that they ultimately look a bit squishy. If you're someone who's new to painting your nails and you're like, I don't understand, I just want it to cover my nail, this formula has very good coverage for a jelly-based polish. So you can get away with like two coats or three and it like cover your nail. Or there's the people who are more experienced nail polish users who use the term jelly maybe a bit differently than we are. I would consider the Hollow Taco jelly formula to be more pigmented and be a bit more fuller coverage. So these are like, very buildable jelly based polishes that are good for anyone to wear and you can have that coverage if you want in three coats or you could do two and it's like you can see a little bit of the nail line but you know what the benefit of these are is you can blend them <laughs> this is what you can do excuse me what royalty free backstreet boys let's go please silence your flip phones the hollow taco retro collection is about to begin the hollow guys look the tv is static fourth anniversary retro collection woo think fast and rewind it back to the 90s in celebration of hollow tago's fourth anniversary guys look ah we're exploding oh my god this is all the orders coming through oh my god <laughs> guys <laughs> what the fuck did we watch the video Okay, 
guys, I give this collection two thumbnails up. Translucent in one coat, you build up for fuller coverage in two to three coats. So kind of like in the mood board, there was those like jelly shoes or jelly pens that have sparkles in them. This has scattered hollow to give that like glimmer, but they're not too packed with glitter so that you still get a lot of the color balancing it out. Here's a demo of one coat, two coats, three coats. The purpose of layering a shade or a formula like this in two to three coats is so you can get a bit of depth. I demoed it with Smoothing Base because my nails are more stained than the average person. Maybe you don't have that issue. You could just use whatever base coat, it doesn't matter. Life in plastic, she's fantastic. And as always, add a glossy taco because you better not forget that quick dry and shine. If you remember from watching me swatch this in my basement, who is there? Yeah, okay, hi, I see you. I see you detective. So I just like put a light behind me and then now I had light coming through the nails because normally this isn't really something I'm trying to showcase, right? This formula, I did want to show that if you have nails that extend past the tip of your finger, you are gonna see a little bit of it through, which is the point of this type of formula. Maybe people are like, wait, what? Why would you wanna see through it? It's part of the aesthetic. It gives it that like jelly squishy look, kind of like jelly shoes and like inflatable furniture vibes. I really like the scattered hollow interspersed in this formula because if you're not in direct light and you like see the cute little sparkly rainbows, it looks kind of like static in the jelly. Ben swatched the whole collection so you can enjoy his nails on the website too. If you want more of a pop of color or you're like not into that squishy look, just throw on some Not Milky White. That's our brightest white creme. It's looking brighter. It's like putting highlighter over white paper versus putting highlighter on your skin. Be kind, rewind the tapes. One coat, two coats. I would do three of the blue on me because my nails are yellow. So the blue leans more green on me. <laughs> Delicious. This is a true like blue freezy blue. Okay, I'm gonna show you my mood board next. I have a second mood board. Next. Then we've got high def, like a yellow highlighter. So it's reminiscent of highlighter yellow, which traditionally leans like a tiny bit green to get that highlighter vibes. High definition. Not so standard, eh? It looks like candy. Then we've got Antihero. A warm magenta purple. This is like different in tone than purples we've released recently. It's way more warm grape jelly and it has a bit of a magenta tone. And on my nail, it's leaning more pink than in the bottle because my nails are like orange. <laughs> Who's playing the villain? Is that, is that Ben with the dirty ass remote? <laughs> This one feels very 90s to me. Yeah, like a grape slushy or a grape drink or Barney. Barney's my villain, so. And finally, we've got Box Office Bomb, which is a juicy orange tangerine kind of color. We needed a classic traditional, like just, just give me orange. Don't let this shade flop at the box office. Don't forget to show us your home nail videos. Use hashtag Holo Taco. You could also add hashtag Holo Taco Retro. I am in love. This is my favorite collection ever released. And I just wanna say such a huge thank you to everyone who's been excited for this, who's been hyping this, who's been like sharing those 90s pictures with me, hanging out with me on stream in advance of this where we were doing like 90s nostalgia kind of stuff. It's been so much fun leading up to this and seeing what everyone was excited for. Should we do another? Another mood board because I, I was doing the most for this launch. So for some collections, I lead with formula first. This collection, it was vibes, mood, and era, and storytelling first. Then the lab went to work and provided me with like what was possible under this vibe assignment. <laughs> and from there, we landed on these five shades. Blue for me, thinking of like blockbusters. But with all the influence of jelly furniture and blue freezies that I used to eat as a kid or like those freaking like water wigglers or just like toys, it feels like the brightest blue you can get in a jelly formula. And then there was pink, which for me was always gonna be Barbie. And yeah, I know Barbie's also releasing like yesterday or whatever, two days ago. I didn't plan this. I wasn't really strategizing, thinking let's do this because Barbie was releasing. I had a childhood where I played with a bunch of Barbies. I had the pink jelly shoes. There was pink highlighters and bubble tape and pink jello. I 
had so many plastic pink toys and shoes. Then there was yellow. Definitely something I wanted to include. I feel like all the other colors, I was like, what do we have in this pigment? What can we do? But like, can we get yellow? <laughs> Cause like the yellow highlighter was pretty iconic for me. That's why the majority of the collection is yellow. And then the colors are kind of the accent. Cher from Clueless, like as if. Then we have purple. Barney, who's a villain to me, always telling me to clean as a six year old. There's a little bit of angst in my childhood where I was like, excuse me, purple dinosaur, sir. Stop telling me to clean. But every story needs a bit of an anti-hero. This movie poster from She's All That. Anyone remember? Freddie Prince Jr., <laughs> Rachel Leigh Cook. And it just so happens that the poster has that warmish purple and then that bright orange contrast. Moving to the orange, bright juicy orange, kind of looks like Nickelodeon orange, which was around for a lot of kids growing up in the 90s. Juicy jelly beans or like a lava lamp. It all started from vibes. And then it was like, what colors can we do? And then we started to slot in the vision and slot in the shade names. Put the tape in. Let's do it again. Hit me, baby, one more time. Down, now, now. Oh, baby, baby. How was I supposed to know? <laughs> I was about to shop the hollow. <laughs> Which shade is your fave? We'll have to do two pulls because I know we only have four options. Susan, please come back. Life in Plastic has won this poll and then Be Kind Rewind and then High Def is left. Poor yellow, no! Come on guys. The yellow was supposed to lead the pack. This was like the one time that I was like, highlighter yellow is gonna get them though, right? This is poll number two. Be Kind Rewind, the blue is in second place after Life in Plastic. Woo, shout out blue lovers, you made it, almost. You did not be pink, but you, you you came pretty close. And then we've got anti-hero purple, yep. And then box office bomb orange, and then high def yellow, no. God, look how much effort we put into making you think yellow first. We're like highlighter yellow, huh? Hi. Highlighter yellow, anyone? Intermission, guys, it's nap time. So if you recall, I made a glue bookmark with highlighters and we made another one on stream that was like an upgrade to this one. And we're gonna peel it today. Is it everything you wanted? Okay, let's peel, ready? Oh my God, it's beautiful. Ben, I made you a bookmark. Oh my God, we match. Just to be clear, I used Sharpies. It's useful, now, now I'm definitely gonna read. <laughs> let's do some swatch wheel stuff. We did the high stress overview, now we're here. If the launch was like 1995, now it's like 1997. It's just time to chill with your bestie and a swatch wheel. So that's over white. So you're kind of seeing their truer pigment. And then when I take that away, you see a menchie hair. They might look slightly different in tone in the bottle than on your hand because your hand has skin attached to it. Like I find for me, the purple looks more pink on my nail because I'm adding orange from my stain <laughs> with the purple. So when you ask for comparisons, how does it compare to this shade? It might compare very differently in the bottle, but might look different on you or a different person. There's more science involved. Squish, squish, bitch. <laughs> This is all done via lazy gradient, which is just painting one color beside each other. So all I did was paint the pink, paint the purple, and then overlap them. That's it. Blue and yellow, you get green down the middle. Yellow and orange looks more like a sunset. It looks like fruit roll-ups. This is the fruit roll-up side. And they still maintain the scattered hollow. And, okay, wait, 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 I had more fun. Okay, remix. Bonus track crew, where you at? Except you don't need your own bottle. You could just paint one coat of a color and then a different color on top. So now you can have colors that are in between our colors. I love these tertiary colors. Like this palette is also so nice. What the fuck? I didn't mix these products in another bottle, nothing like that. It's just so fun how you can like tweak and twist these. You wanna see another combo? We could do a live painting of something like this. What didn't I mix? Blue and orange, that would look ugly though, <laughs> right? The point of this is mixing the adjacent color in the spectrum so you can get like that good color in between. But you guys just want to do chaos, don't you? Fucking chaos, of course you do. Okay, fine. Blue and orange, like, okay. Do we want to know what this looks like? <laughs> what is this color? That looks like an expired fruit roll-up. <laughs> 
it. It's like the grunge 90s. All of them together, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> what color will it, it's probably gonna be purple to complete the chaos shade we're gonna add a coat of anti-hero and then we'll have all five hollow jellies on top of each other as predicted looks more like the last couple shades you applied so the purple than the pink it kind of looks like more organic jam <laughs> uh-oh we have a ben termission ben what did you do respectfully what the fuck I only put a little bit of vodka in it. Cheers. Ah. <laughs> Can't get it out. <laughs> oh. mm. Is it good? You gotta suck it out. No, I'm a lady. You had vodka jello shots it, as a kid? It tastes just like how I remember. Get oh. it out. Oh. Get it out. It's like being born. Oh. oh, oh, okay, oh, okay. oh, oh. We got her. Life in plastic. It's fantastic. This is how Barbie dolls are born. <laughs> One <laughs> special winner will receive the collection box in, in closed in jello. Giveaway. No, 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 don't do that. Hey, don't eat the nail polish. Wow, that's really yellow. Tastes yellow. <laughs> yeah. We're coming back. Can we mix them all? Oh my God, you guys are so chaotic. It looks like sand art. <gasps> My childhood! Ah! Wow, I don't want to mix it. Okay, that actually looks like jam. Let's call her Pump Up the Jam. <laughs> okay, sales data. Barbie Pink is definitely winning the race. I mean, I don't know what influence <laughs> there could be that is causing this. But Anti Hero, the purple, and Rewind are tied for second. Okay, interesting. Is yellow in last still? <laughs> Please don't say yes. Yes, the highlighter yellow is on the bottom, but orange and yellow are similar. Okay, so she's not too far down. So, every launch stream, there is a group of detectives who live in the Simply and Illogical Discord server. This is the fourth anniversary tapes review. I'm gonna review your work. Colorizing my stream that I shot in black and white. When you use a colorizer on many shades, they just end up making them look like dark reddish. There's two types of detectives. There's ones who draw graphics and screen cap pictures and write numbers and letters on them. And then there's ones who write full ass briefings. This is a thesis right here. That screen was not actually my initial inspiration, but I do see it now. Uh, also in Ben's stream, he said he's tired because he went to five stores and he couldn't find the prop. It's something people don't buy anymore because there's newer versions of it. That prop was the VHS player. We went to five thrift stores that sell electronics in Ottawa and none of the fuck, none of them had a VHS player. <laughs> So I had the Holo Taco team ship me the VCR they were maybe gonna use in some prop stuff. Listen, my office has shit everywhere. Simply being stupid. Hey, unnecessary math time detectives. The standard VHS is 7.4 inches by four inches. Give it so the standard five polish box would look closer in proportion to a VHS. Actual VHS collection box. Who photoshopped this? What are you seeing, Barbie or Oppenheimer? Or Barbenheimer, what about both? Big shout out to this chatter from the Simply Neological Discord. <laughs> what? This is like crime scene level reconstruction. Like, are you a forensic graphic designer? This was before you knew what this looked like. Shared it with the team and I was like, okay, which one of you is the mole? They were all like, uh, you, Christine, you're the mole, it's you. And I was like, oh yeah, shit, well. Unhinged Discord server, do not come. That sign won't stop me because I can't read. <laughs> it's been a wonderful time. How, where did I lose my voice? Was I screaming at a 90s rock concert or something? What the heck? Please hold. There is a high volume of orders. It will take up to eight to 10 business days for your orders to ship because so many of you are so amazing and have decided to pick up the collection. My mind will be living in the 90s for the next little while. It's gonna be hard to shake it off and turn into fall because I, I think I'm stuck here. Okay, so September hints. Calm down, Amy. No. All right, everyone. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see y'all later. Bye.